We are facing a real crisis. We all know that humanity, ourselves, depend upon the natural world for the food we eat, for the air we breathe. In the end, it's us, people, who have to act. And that's why this Cambridge Conservation Initiative is so crucially important. It's based, after all, in the heart of this very great university, Charles Darwin's university. And around it, as you've heard, there are now clusters of conservation organizations. Understanding how the natural world works is of paramount importance to the society that we serve. The fundamental research into biodiversity and its conservation carried out here in Cambridge is fascinating and inspirational. So what makes CCI distinct? Well, first of all, it brings together people and institutions with different remits, research, policy, practice and education, different networks, local, national, international, NGOs, governments, academia and business and different disciplines, including natural, social, and physical sciences, along with management, technology, and the arts and humanities. Striving to become leaders in a field that must address serious threats to an ever-changing planet, we are privileged to have the opportunity to thrive in Cambridge's unique conservation environment. I speak for both myself and my classmates when I say the Masters in Conservation Leadership has greatly strengthened and broadened our understanding of conservation issues. We are privileged to have a world-class lineup of lecturers, some 60 experts from both within the university and Cambridge-based organisations offer us valuable insights in the classroom. A place to meet, to eat, to greet, an idea space, a place to learn and teach, and a place to generate new solutions, whether it's over a cup of coffee in the common room, round a computer screen, looking at a new data set, or during a webinar with members of the conservation community anywhere else in the world. The campus will house over 500 conservation professionals. They'll include practitioners, experts in policy, finance, communications, capacity building and research, and alongside that, there will be a rich mix of conservation academics and their students from across a broad range of disciplines. The campus will be a focal point for conservation events, debates, seminars, discussion fora, lectures. We have plans to install green walls and roofs. As well as being environmentally friendly, those will be designed by world experts to provide a rich diversity of habitats for urban biodiversity will use the campus to raise the profile of nature, its richness, its complexity, its values to society, and its fragility. It is my heartfelt wish and expectation that as a result of what we do together here as partners in the Cambridge Conservation Initiative, the planet should be a better place. It's the aim of CCI to put conservation of biodiversity center stage in the life of Cambridge and to put the future of life on Earth at the centre of the world stage through our combined efforts here. The world is there. It's in great peril. Something has to be done. It seems to me that this country, which has a proud record of innovation in this particular field, is making one further international step, and one that is historic in this Cambridge initiative. I congratulate you all who have been responsible for doing this, and I wish the initiative the greatest of success. Thank you very much.